This is the first mention of righteousness in the New Testament. Joseph, her husband, being a righteous man and not wanting to disgrace her, planned to send her away secretly. Do you see how righteousness and mercy are combined together there? His righteousness made him merciful. He said, he was absolutely convinced in his mind that Mary played the fool with some man and became pregnant. What else would any man think? In 4,000 years of human history, no virgin ever produced a child. You can't blame Mo Joseph for thinking anything different. But he said, okay, she slipped up. She's just a 19-year-old girl, made a mess of her life. Why should I expose it? Let me not tell anyone. Love covers a multitude of sins. Let me not expose it. Let me cover it up as much as possible. Let me just quietly send her away secretly. And if anybody asks you, well, Joseph, why didn't you marry her? Say, well, you know, I thought about it and I felt maybe I shouldn't marry her. Maybe I should wait a little longer to get married. And don't cover, cover it, cover it. Just like Shem and Japheth covered the nakedness of Noah. Oh, God loves such people. God loves people. In fact, Noah said Shem and Japheth are going to be, God is going to bless them tremendously and their children. I'll tell you something. Cover the sins of others. God will bless not only you, he will bless your children too. That's how God is. He's a good God. Because that's part of his nature. His nature is to cover sin. Think of this yourself. All of you sitting here. Haven't you done some terrible things in your past life which nobody in this congregation knows about? I think all of us have to say yes. Some really terrible things which nobody knows about. What has God done? He's not only forgiven you, He has hidden it from all the people here so that people think, you're such a godly sister, you're such a godly brother. You know it's not true. But God doesn't expose you. That is God's nature. Many of us say, I want to be like Jesus, I want to be like God. This is God's nature. And yet, how ruthlessly you have sometimes exposed the sins of other people. You have found a delight sometimes in exposing the sins of other people's children or other people that proves you're not a righteous person. Joseph being a righteous, old covenant righteousness man decided, I must be merciful to her. I must cover her sin. Let me tell you some other thing. Supposing he had done the opposite. Supposing he had gone around saying, oh, there's Mary, you know what she did? Became pregnant. I think I'm going to marry such a girl. And advertised it all over Nazareth. And the next night the angel comes and says to Joseph, hey, that is from the Holy Spirit. How would he have felt when he discovered the truth? Have you ever scandalized somebody and discovered later on that that was not true? How can you pull back all that wrong information you've given to people? You can't. Because that person, being a gossip who listened to you, he would have a hundred other people who he's already told that to. You can't pull it back. It's gone. It's gone. It's spread over the world. There's a proverb in the world that says, lies travel around the world while truth is still putting on his shoes. It's true. We, we don't spread truth so quickly as lies get spread. So, it's much better not to uh, spread. Sometimes what you see may not be the truth. You may not know the full story. 